is Ovly, so why she Here we go. Oh, I miss her, and I'm so happy Ovly Chan is back with us. And I know that the whole E3 crew is extremely excited about what is coming up here. Two minutes and 39 seconds Ooh. to the Nintendo presentation GB. Yes. Um, I am absolutely going wild trying to wrap my head around what we will see. But really quickly, I want to talk to you about Nintendo and how it has had an impact on your life. Yeah, I mean, Nintendo's been a, you know, a, a massive part of my childhood, as has been for many. Uh, th this was like, <laughs> my brother, he had a Nintendo, you know, Super Nintendo uh, as a kid, yeah. you know, Super Mario World. Uh, I had an N64 and a Game Boy. Of the game. And he got really mad about me. He got really mad about it. Yeah, that's 3DS. Uh, because that, that's what siblings do. Uh, and obviously I was a child, so I could not, you know, get him back to where he was before. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? No regrets. No regrets because that was no uh, regrets. Something that brought us together, whether it be in, in an epic battle, somehow, some way, we resolved it. That is one of my fondest Nintendo memories. That in uh, playing Splatoon 2 the first time on my Switch. I oh. I love the Splatoon so much. Big shout out, by the way, to the Splatoon competitive community because they are a great group, and uh, I love watching all the streamers, all the events. Whenever they're on, they're always fun. Yeah, Splatoon is a great series. Um, I know yesterday when we were talking with Greg, you guys mainly started off with Sega. You said you dabbled with Nintendo. I'm the opposite. I dabbled with Sega, but we were mainly a Nintendo family growing up. Um, we had the SNES, a Pokemon Collector's Edition, N64, Ooh. GameCube, Wii, and okay. um, we had Honestly, a Wii. looking back, some of the best memories from my childhood were spent with Nintendo consoles. Um, my yeah. brother and I would literally just be in the basement playing for hours on end. Mario Kart. Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat fighting games. Or we would be playing those RPGs like I was telling you all about. Chrono yeah, Trigger, yeah. Illusion of Gaia, Secret of Mana. And um, I really feel like Nintendo shaped who I am today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, Aww. Uh, I feel like those memories form me into the human being that I am. Yeah. And um, I, I do, I know that sounds like really heavy. Really heavy. But uh, Nintendo helped me escape um, when I was a child from, you know, whatever it was. Maybe it was bullying or stress at the home, you know. And I still do that to this day. So big thank you to Nintendo. And I'm yeah. sure you feel the same way. Oh, many, many, uh, many others feel the same way. You mentioned fighting games, one of my favorites, Super WrestleMania. Oh. Uh, I, I love that game. I played it, uh, it endlessly with my brother. <laughs> Um, and yeah, Royal Rumble, that was another good one. Like all the wrestling games, we loved those. So it was great. great ones, but believe We've already not, seen a lot of the games that we were about to begin watching. In this right now, this second, go! Let's go! All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Hello, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll it's be your guide low. as well. Just the turned Nintendo it up a Switch bit. system is now in its fifth year, and many people around Ooh, the world shit. are playing games. Five games years with Switch? Switch is no fucking way! A wide really? Range of players spanning all ages and all levels of gaming experience. Thank you all very much. We've been able to offer a wide variety of games on the system, not just from Nintendo, but also from our many development and publishing partners. I hope that each of you watching this Nintendo Direct will be able to find a game that suits your personal tastes. Today, we have news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we'll be focusing on a selection of games releasing this year. We I've heard 40 minutes of the presentation is on Switch okay. games. To begin, please take a look at this video. That's Gandalf! Not Gandalf, fucking. What's his name? The dude! It starts with G in Zelda! Not Gandalf, what's his fucking name again? Oh my goodness, it's not! Ready for the next battle. 
It's not Zelda. It's a... Wait! What's going on here? I'm confused! <laughs> Is this the Super Smash Brothers? How's the sound? <laughs> okay, we can float. Hello, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited and the director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. Kazuya Mishima from the fighting game series Tekken will join the battle. Surprise! I'll go over the details at a later date, so please sit tight. For today, though, we've prepared a short video to showcase Kazuya's moves in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Please take a look. <laughs> I used to love Tekken. You know how you have particular games that you play when you're a kid? And some people have had Mortal Kombat, some people had Street Fighter. I grew up on Tekken. So this is why I automatically recognize this one. Ganon! That's his name! <sighs> this feels like Tekken. No, it's Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'll talk about the fighter more in a future presentation. We still have to record it first, actually. <laughs> the air date is shown below. Please stay tuned. Thank you, Mr. Sakurai. <laughs> New fighter, Kazuya, will join the fight in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Please look forward to seeing how Kazuya, who has experienced many harsh battles across the Tekken series, will fight in this game. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Ooh. Your choices matter in these emotional, supernatural tales. Yes, please. I love Choices Matter games. the train track from Life is Strange and I was like what?
Life is Strange True Colors launches on Nintendo Switch September 10th. And Life is Strange Remastered Collection comes to Nintendo Switch later this year. There's something for everyone on the Nintendo Switch system. You are Star-Lord, leading a legendary band of heroes for hire in this thrilling we action adventure game. We knew that this one was coming Jump up. on a wild ride across the cosmos, overwhelm opponents with Star-Lord's daring combat style, and encounter iconic and original Marvel characters. You'll call the shots for the unpredictable Guardians as you face cosmic threats to save the galaxy. You got this, probably. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy blasts onto Nintendo Wait, Switch yeah. October 26th. Worms everywhere! In this real-time arena-based shooter, you'll squish your invertebrae opponents in 32-player cross-platform combat, play in daily challenges, battle modes, and seasonal events to worm your way up the ranks. Plus, the patchwork bear outfit exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version will be available for free for two weeks after launch. A new map, Spaceport Showdown, launches with Worms Do you have Rumble, to pay for it after that? To Nintendo Switch June 23rd. Get a 25% discount when you pre-order the game starting today on Nintendo eShop. The fantastical realm of Orcanon awaits. As you explore this fully hand-painted world, you'll customize a team of demigods and unleash devastating attacks in captivating turn-based combat. Astria Ascending launches on Nintendo Switch September 30th. Return to the funny, charming, and quirky world of Two Point County. In the wholesome management sim Two Point Campus, You'll build and run your very own university the way you want it. Lots of creative tools are at your disposal oh, cool. to make the school yours and take your educational empire to the next level. Enrollment for Two Point Campus starts on Nintendo Switch next year. A beloved series rolls into its 20th anniversary this year. Oh, what's that? I wonder if the next generation is going to admire Go these indie, uh, ball, these like rolls um, Nintendo retro games as much 5th. as we did when we grew up. It's a blast from parties past, and you're invited. Ready for another round of Mario Party Mayhem? Of course you are. It's a superstar collection of Mario Party boards and mini games. Live it up on five classic boards from the Nintendo 64 era, including Peach's birthday oh, cake nice. and Spaceland. Each board is packed with zany events guaranteed to keep you on your toes. And when we say zany, we mean it. Jump, connect blocks, and give facelifts? I remember that one. And hilarious over-the-top minigames, all of which support button controls. With 100 mini games from the Mario Party series catalog, I need to get Mario you'll have Party. a blast so much fun. in this all-star fun fest. Here's a little party favor. All game modes work with online play. Even if you're partying solo, you can randomly match with other party goers worldwide. Oh, nice. Playing a board game online with friends? Save your progress mid-game, grab a snack, then resume the festivities. Stickers are also available to communicate with others. It's time to party in Mario Party Superstars. Cool. Launching on the Nintendo Switch system October 29th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. What did you think? Before we show this next trailer, I'd like to say one thing. Currently, we're working hard on the latest game in the Metroid Prime series, Metroid Prime 4, which we previously announced. 
But today, we'd like to introduce another new entry in the Metroid franchise. Please take a look. Wasn't Thor looking forward to this? Metroid 5. Shooting it, it's doing nothing, dude. I would start to run. Whoa, shit balls. Metroid Dread. Interesting. That was the trailer for the first new 2D Metroid game in roughly 19 years, the brand new Metroid Dread game. As the name Dread implies, this is a Metroid game with a new feel showcasing a variety of threats that Samus will encounter. It's scheduled to be released on October 8th, so it won't be too long until launch. On that same day, we'll also be releasing amiibo figures for Samus and the Emmy, the robot seen in the video. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. These familiar franchises are back on Nintendo Switch. I'm a get ready to get down in the latest Just Dance game. Hit the dance floor in Just Dance 2022, launching on Nintendo Switch November 4th. The arcade smash hit Cruisin' Blast is speeding onto Nintendo Switch. Blast your way through What's nearly 30 over-the-top tracks. Up to four players can race together, so pick your favorite vehicle and hit the road. Cruisin' Blast launches as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch this fall. It's the ultimate Dragon oh, Ball Oh, Smitty experience. will be excited about this one. Relive the story of Goku and other Z fighters through four sagas in this action RPG. Saiyan, protect the Earth from an invasion by Vegeta and Nappa. Frieza, take a stand against the evil Emperor. Cell, battle the androids in a fight to the death. Majin Buu, an epic showdown with the most fearsome foe. Along with the main story, you can explore the vast world of Dragon Ball Z. Hey, why not help out the locals? Or collect ingredients for delicious meals. You could always train to acquire new skills, too. There are lots of things to keep you busy. The boss battle episodes, A New Power Awakens Parts 1 and 2 is also included. 
Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, plus a new Power Awaken set punches its way onto Nintendo Switch September 24th. Grab a golf club and get ready to tee off. The Mario Golf Super Rush game launches soon. Here's a quick glimpse into each of the modes. Standard golf. Take your time to read the wind and terrain on the greens. Nice shot. Hit different types of shots and aim for under par. Nice bird. Speed golf. Smack your ball then chase after it. Be the first to get your ball in the hole. Outpace your rivals with special dashes and special shots. Battle golf. Duke it out over nine flag marked holes in an obstacle filled arena. Capture three flags to win. Golf adventure. Go from rookie to pro with your me character. The golfing challenges that await may surprise you. And here's some news. Who worries? Who worries, Stella? Planned for future release, including additional courses and playable characters. The fairway's almost open, so set your tee time and get ready to ace those shots in Mario Golf Super Rush, swinging onto the Nintendo Switch system June 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. So far, not much has really ready kind for of, ride of a lifetime? jumped out at me. Welcome to the vast and vibrant world of Monster Hunter. As a rider in this RPG adventure, you'll explore diverse landscapes. A lot of these I've already seen because we were just looking at them companion. or they're being announced already. Gather so, so far, I'm kind over, of feeling a little bit meh overall. Journey. And a lot of these of the I would much prefer about. to play on a different Some are docile, platform. But others may suddenly ambush you. To fight, you'll team up with your monster and use weapons and skills to overwhelm enemy monsters in turn based battles. Win, and you'll be rewarded with their materials, which can be forged into new weapons and armor. Hey, is that an egg? You might be able to hatch a new monster. Incredibly powerful monsters can also hatch from rare eggs. Need more traveling buddies? Join up with friends for co-op multiplayer quests and battles. Buckle up, Ryder. It's going to be a real monster of an adventure. Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin soars onto Nintendo Switch July 9th. You can play the free demo on June 25th and carry over oh. your save data to the full game. Okay, so you can play the demo. I don't know how good this. Here's a new game from the head of a certain company. <laughs> Did you miss me? Hey, what do you mean? Who am I? It's a me, Wario. And it's a finally ready, a brand new game from my company. Check it out. You get to control me. Time to do this. <laughs> Look at me go. What rats? Check out these chumps. They came back. And they have wonderful new talents. Throw that stick thing. Mm, not the bad. Use the spinny, whatchamacallit. Ha! Nailed it! Same micro game, different abilities. Wah! I almost forgot some big news. Two people can play together at the same oh, time. That's cool. So play nice, or else. <laughs> hey, not nice. All right, you. Yes, you, the one watching this. Better get ready for some micro game mayhem. <laughs> the WarioWare Get It Together game launches exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system September 10th. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. What you just saw was the trailer for WarioWare! Get it together! In the latest installment of this series, there are new microgames that let you control Wario and his friends. There is also a two-player co-op mode, which greatly expands the gameplay. It's releasing in the near future, so stay tuned! Next, please take a look at this. As a high 
high school faces. student living in Tokyo, your life is fairly normal. But that reality is upended after you get pulled into a different dimension. What? Another Tokyo exists. A post-apocalyptic world where angels and demons reside. Suddenly, you fuse with a mysterious figure, gaining the power to fight demons. What lies ahead in this alternate realm? <laughs> Shin Megami Tensei. The world is now transformed into a sprawling, demon-infested wasteland. Though friendly demons do exist here, many are hostile and will attempt to destroy you. Harness your newfound powers to fight demons using a command-based system. Finding their weak point is key. By targeting it, the number of consecutive actions you can perform in a combo will increase. Though demons are formidable opponents <laughs> you may be able to recruit them via negotiations which begin when you open a conversation with them if a negotiation is successful a demon will become a powerful ally Ooh, interesting in some cases by rejecting a demon's request they may feel motivated and join you as an ally. Demons that do join will fight alongside you and grow stronger. By fusing demon allies, another demon can be created. The newly fused demon's innate abilities will vary, granting you a powerful ally customized to your needs and playstyle. Challenge the many demons roaming this post-apocalyptic world by harnessing the power of your own. What destiny will you choose? Shin Megami Tensei 5 will launch exclusively on Nintendo Switch November 12th. Pre-orders for the physical version begin June 21st. That was the latest trailer for Shin Megami Tensei 5 from Atlas. This is the newest game in the series. Please look forward to future updates. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Celebrate 10 years of Danganronpa in despair. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Three games in the deadly Rampa series are coming to Nintendo Switch. I am this school. Monokuma, the self-proclaimed school headmaster, has trapped you and other high school students in a game of literal life and death. Unfortunately, the only way out of the school and this lethal game is to betray the other students. Really? And so it begins. A body has been discovered! When a student meets their demise, Oops, a crazy. class trial will take place to reveal the culprit. You're the culprit, aren't you, Neil? Tell you, I had no idea. They probably moved the body there. Use the evidence you've gathered to refute contradictions and Ooh. find the guilty party. Sneak attack. Are you okay? Plus, the board game from Rampa V3 Killing Harmony has been expanded into a standalone game. Rampa S Ultimate Summer Camp, an all-star cast of characters from the Rampa series <coughs> will come together to battle at a tropical resort. Who's the strongest of them all in this hey. ultimate beach <laughs> brawl? The four game collection Donkanrampa Decadence launches as a physical exclusive on Nintendo Switch later this year. 
all four games will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. We hope you're not afraid of ghosts. Oh, yes. This one, yes. In this horror adventure game, you'll uncover the mysteries surrounding the ethereal but deadly Mount Hikami, believed to be at the center of many disappearances. Ghosts frequent this mountain. Your only defense is a camera that can repel and cast them out. I loved this game when um, I was Face younger. Face your fears as you explore a variety of unsettling locations. This it had such an story interesting story. Protagonists, letting you experience but it's like the game fucking from different terrifying. Perspectives. New costumes and photo modes are included in this version. Can you investigate Mount Hikami and stay alive? Fatal Frame. Maiden of Black Water creeps onto Nintendo Switch this year. These games and DLC are coming soon. Some even today. Your war is not over. Raise hell in the first campaign expansion for Doom Eternal, The Ancient Gods Part 1. Deeper and more challenging combat awaits as you eliminate Hell's newest threats in demon-infested ruins and rain-swept terrain. The fate of the cosmos is in your hands. Get slaying when this campaign expansion launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Get ramped up for two Pretty iconic hook. skateboarding games fully remastered in HD. Skate to era-defining jams as the legendary Tony Hawk and a roster of new and returning pros. Take your sessions on the go with all the original game modes and compete locally or online to show off your tricks against other skaters. Drop in to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, launching on Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. After 4,000 years, Sateki, the Witch Queen, has risen from the dead and only one group of heroes can stop her. The Strange Brigade. Ooh. In this thrilling adventure, you'll blast through an army of mummified monstrosities while solving puzzles Ooh. in booby-trapped dungeons. Go it alone or team up with other daring adventurers in local wireless co-op and online play. Cool. Expect the unexpected when Strange Brigade launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Later today? Wow, okay. It's a new adventure of cosmic proportions. We knew Mario and Rabbids was coming out. Mario and his friends will team up with the Rabbids once again to restore order to the galaxy. Our heroes must stop a mysterious new evil from plunging the universe into chaos. Rabbit Rosalina joins them. Wait, is she bored already? Explore planets filled with quirky residents and even quirkier secrets. And in this fresh take on the tactical genre, our heroes can run freely around the battlefield, creating new strategic and chaotic possibilities. So aim for victory with a little help from your friends. Wait, who's that? Well, one thing's certain, this is gonna be one heck of a galactic adventure. Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope launches into space or onto Nintendo Switch next year. Memorable characters and vibrant gameplay are in store as you lead the commanding officers to victory. Play the first.
first two Advance Wars campaigns and Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. Marching on to Nintendo Switch this holiday. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. How is everything? All right. This next segment will be our last <laughs> announcement of the day. So far. Please take a look. Last announcement of the day. Wait, it's only 2.30. Zelda! Oh. So you like have like huge battles? Is there like more than one player in this one? Hello there, I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you've just seen is a trailer for the first wave of DLC for the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity expansion pass from Koei Tecmo Games. Should probably get that. It will follow Link and his allies through more battles that took place 100 years prior to the events of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I hope you'll look forward to it. I have a few more things to share with you all today. We'll begin with the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD game, which launches next month. Ooh. You'll immerse yourself in the role of Link by using two Joy-Con controllers for intuitive motion controls, or by playing in handheld mode, wielding the sword via flicking the stick and button-only controls. This game depicts the oldest era in the Legend of Zelda series, the story of how it all began. What is the origin of the Master Sword? Why did a woman named Zelda become the legend for future generations? These will all be unraveled in this game. We hope you're looking forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. I liked Skyward Sword. That was the one where it was up in the sky, right? <laughs> and then you got to Next fly up. down out of it. Here's a little something you might like. This is a Game & Watch system that lets you play three games in the Legend of Zelda series. This year, the original Legend of Zelda game reaches its 35th anniversary. While we don't have any campaigns or other Nintendo Switch games planned, we've been working on this Game & Watch system as a special item to help mark the occasion and reflect fondly on the earliest days of the Legend of Zelda. It will come with the first game in the series, The Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, and the Game Boy version of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening game, as well as a special version of the Game & Watch title Vermin, starring Link as the playable character. So that's four games on one system, from longer Legend of Zelda games to what the pick-up-and-play game. What was it called again? Game, game & Watch. In addition, regarding the watch functionality for the Game & Watch system, we've added a playable clock based on The Legend of Zelda. And an interactive timer. A playable after Zelda 2, clock. The of Link. I'm sorry, a playable clock? You can play with both of them by taking control of Link. We hope you'll enjoy playing this Game & Watch system whenever and wherever you'd like. Not really the console that I thought they All were right. going to do. Here's the last thing we have to show you. This is the sequel really? to The Legend of Zelda Breath already, of the Wild. It? Two years have passed since we first announced this game, and we've been unable to share anything with you in that time. However, development has been steadily progressing. For today, we've prepared some new footage to show a bit more of the game. Please take a look.
very pretty. Oh, so you can have like up the top and down below worlds. That's cool. Wait, what? He just walked through there as water. Has it got a new name yet? 2022. So, what did you think? This time around, the setting for the adventure has been expanded to include the skies above Hyrule. We'd like to ask you to wait a bit longer. We're aiming for a 2022 release, so I hope you'll look forward to it. How was that? That's all for this Nintendo Direct. We are diligently continuing development on a number of other games we didn't show today. I hope you'll continue mm. looking forward to what's in store on Nintendo Switch. Thank you for watching. No Pokemon. Tiny little bit of Zelda. I can't believe they didn't have any Pokemon. Hi everyone, I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America. And I'm here with Nate Bildorf, who leads our Treehouse team. Alright, we're going to just know, get rid of that one. Nintendo and, um... I fucked it up and I have to re re reset everything up again. Um, but, oops, no, not that one. Um, so what do you guys think? Uh, I'm going to jump into this one and put some pretzel on. What did you guys think of that? I, I don't know, I felt a little bit disappointed by it, I'm not going to lie. Um, it was nice to see some Zelda. And, um... I was excited to know the Life is Strange is coming to Switch, but at the same time, I'm not going to play Life is Strange on the Switch. Um, it's not really, you know, I'd rather sit and play it on my computer. Uh, Fatal Frame, terrifying game, but I remember playing it back on the Wii and it was so good. Um, I loved the idea of using a uh, um, camera to be able to fight ghosts as opposed to like an actual weapon, which was terrifying in its own right, but it was still like a really good idea. So um, I've, uh, yeah, I've, I'm really excited to see, try that one, but I'm a little bit scared. So maybe I might like make it like a, a I don't know, like a, a donation goal or something I guess um, or maybe if I reach 500 subs on Twit on YouTube I might do it because I've got like 200 to go so you know maybe I might make it a goal on YouTube for 200 subs to play it because um, I don't have the whole um but yeah um and i'm excited to see skyward sword is remastered because um i really liked that uh oh, no not what i wanted to do i really liked that game so i'm excited to see that um Mario Party Superstars looks like a lot of fun. Uh, I'll probably buy it for me and the girls to play. 
I would much prefer it on the online than, you know, anything else. Uh, so yeah. Oh no. Yeah, no, we had that one. I'm just trying to find the games that I haven't played. Jesus. I need to go back and reset it all up, let's be honest. Um, but I don't know, I feel like I would probably, I mean, a lot of that stuff too, we've already seen released by, um, what do you call it? By, uh, Ubis Ubisoft and, and, uh, Capcom and all that kind of stuff. So it's not like it's anything excitingly new, you know, it's rather, <laughs> I'm not sold on it. I'm not sold on it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I don't think it's quite as bad as um, as Squaresoft was. I mean, Squaresoft was rather chaotic. Um, and I'm not just saying that. I just realized too. I'm not just saying that because of the whole chaos thing. I seriously felt like it was a bit chaotic. Um, and Nintendo is a bit more organized. I just wish they show some exclusively to d Nintendo games or something that we haven't seen before, you know? Um, Legend of Zelda looks really cool. I love the way that it's in the sky as well as down below. That was something really exciting for me. Rating wise, I would probably give it maybe a uh, D maybe or a C minus maybe uh, um I hate doing low low ones you know Nintendo always do a really good um, presentation but I was really disappointed with this year's um, I'm not gonna lie I've noticed a lot of the stuff that they're bringing out as well is, is, um, what do you call it? Those, um, what do you call them? Old school games. So, yeah, I was a little bit, yeah, disappointed, I'm not going to lie. Oh, Letters was done. Oh, that's a good game. I can't wait to play that. Letters was at E3. I'm really excited about that one. This one. 